The Los Angeles Rams had a spectacular season last year, making the playoffs in the process for the first time since 2004, and a lot of things clicked for then first-year head coach Sean McVay. Can he strike the right chords once again this upcoming season? That's what we'll discuss, and a lot more in our 2018 Los Angeles Rams season preview. Let's get things kicked off by taking a look at some of the key storylines heading into the season as we go into our four-minute offense. The Rams had an offseason that rivaled the 94 San Francisco 49ers, the 2000 Washington Redskins, and the 2011 Philadelphia Eagles in terms of big-name free agents that they added to the roster. In the offseason, the Rams signed Ndamukong Sue. They also traded for cornerbacks Akib Talib and Marcus Peters. And right before the draft, they made a move to bring in wide receiver Brandon Cooks via trade as well. Those are four premier players that are expected to come in and elevate a team that was 11-5 last season and made the playoffs to get them over the hump in the NFC. Now, all things being considered, these impact players added are coming in at positions of need, so we'll see at the end of the season if they end up more like the 94 49ers as opposed to more like the 2011 Philadelphia Eagles. Last year, the Rams quarterback Jared Goff made significant strides that saw him throw for just over 3,800 yards, 28 touchdowns to only seven interceptions. Talk about a complete 180 from a rookie season that had him looking like it was his first year ever playing football. Now, Goff was a major key to the success of the Rams last season, and he was able to elevate or balance the offense out in a big way, which subsequently made life a hell of a lot easier for all pro running back Ty Gurley. The 2017 season was very reminiscent, to me at least, of the 2012 Seattle Seahawks season where they had a lot of the same pieces that were in place prior to Russell Wilson coming in and providing an asset or being an asset at the position. And if that's the case here with golf as he heads to year three, then big things are definitely on the horizon for the Rams. One of the major position battles going on this year for the Rams takes place on the defensive side of the ball at one of the inside linebacker spots. Mark Barron is entrenched as the starter and is coming off of a season where he finished second on the team in tackles. The leader in that department was Alec Ogletree, who was traded to the New York Giants in the offseason. Now that leaves Corey Littleton, Bryce Hager, and rookie fifth round pick Micah Kaiser out of Virginia vying for that opportunity. Now some consider Ogletree to be a big liability at inside linebacker, so if any one of these guys can bring balance on both ends of defense on the inside it could help this defense out significantly this season another big story from last year was how much of a difference then rookie head coach sean mcveigh made on his football team mcveigh's offensive approach and fresh ideas helped pump life into an offense that went from bad to top 10 and that alone helped the defense remain fresh active and aggressive all season long now all lives will be on the young head coach in regards to what he can do for an encore. In the first year, everything is new and fresh to the opponents. In year two, they've already adjusted. What adjustments will McVay make to stay two steps ahead of his competition will be key. A reason for optimism for the Los Angeles Rams can be found in two premier players that are arguably the best at their positions in running back Ty Gurley and defensive tackle Aaron Donald. Both guys were up for NFL Player of the Year honors with Donald winning defensive player of the year last season and when you have that type of talent at two positions of control in the game of football you can't help but be optimistic about your chances each and every week. Another reason for optimism would be the secondary. We've talked about the additions of Tlaib and Peters, but LaMarcus Joyner is one of the best pure football players in the game with his ability as a versatile defender. Also, safety John Johnson III really came into his own last year as a rookie and looks to be a solid starter heading into year two. And nickelback Nikel Roby Coleman excelled last year in that role and was brought back this offseason to continue to be that guy in the slot. I would also be optimistic about the talent and depth at both wide receiver and tight end. This was the case last year in my opinion, but with the additions of Cooks and what looks to be the emergence of the tight end position within its offense, the Rams will be a tough opponent to match up against each and every week. A cause for concern would be if all the new players, the star players like Sue, Peters, and Tlaib, struggled to latch on and gel defensively. Last year, the Rams struggled to stop the run, which is why Sue's addition was key. They also let go cornerback Tremaine Johnson. They let him walk in free agency, which is why Peters and Tlaib were huge additions. But if it all doesn't pan out, it could derail what looks to be a big season out in L.A. Another potential derailment could be if golf reverts back to what we saw two years ago. Although that's unlikely to happen, Golf does have to do a much better job in protecting the football and be a little bit more cognizant of pressure in year three. If he reverts back to bad habits, it could be a problem offensively. 
Here are some quick takes as the Rams go through training camp. Two breakout players this year will be tight end Gerald Everett and safety John Johnson III. Everett is more along the lines of your receiver type tight end that has solid rack skills and is primed for a big role this season. Johnson came on strong last year as a rookie starting 11 games and will now take an even bigger step in year two. Some training camp surprises will be quarterback Luis Perez and linebacker Micah Kaiser. Now Perez is an undrafted rookie free agent quarterback out of Texas A&M Commerce and is coming off of a Division II national title. He has all of the requisite skills to be successful and should showcase that during the preseason. And Kaiser was one of my favorite linebacker prospects in the draft, a smart, instinctive player. Look for him to make a strong case to be the starter alongside Mark Barron at inside backer. Rookie standouts this year will be offensive lineman Jamil Demby and linebacker Obinia Okoronkwo. Demby has the versatility to play either guard or tackle and will be a valuable asset along the offensive line. And Okoronkwo knows how to get to the quarterback and will be put in plenty of advantageous situations to do so. And from a fantasy football perspective, the major choice would be running back Ty Gurley. He's a first round fantasy selection in my opinion and gives you so much value as a runner, receiver, a yards getter, and a touchdown maker. The road to the Super Bowl for the Los Angeles Rams goes as follows. The run defense has to improve to a top 10 ranking. Last year, the Rams allowed over 122 yards of rushing a game, which was 28th in the NFL. That gets up to the top 10, and they can have a top 5 defensive unit overall in the NFL. And if Sean McVay can stay ahead of the game like he did coming into his first year, then he'll keep opponents guessing, keep his players challenged, and replicate the success he had as a rookie coach. It's all about growing and staying current and flexible. And the same can be said for quarterback Jared Goff. If he can take an even bigger step forward and match impacts like Todd Gurley and Aaron Donald and not be reliant on a, such a great running game, so to speak, the Rams can find themselves in Atlanta for the Super Bowl come February. I have the Rams finishing first in the NFC West. This team has a lot of depth on offense and defensively they're solid up front on the edges and in the secondary. I ultimately think they'll find the right guy in the middle on defense, but this team has a lot of the same ingredients the Philadelphia Eagles had last year and will definitely be in the mix to make it to the big game this upcoming winter. So that's it for our 2018 NFL season team preview. Be sure to follow me on all of our social media accounts. Also check out and subscribe on iTunes to Football Game Plan Podcast and to find other NFL team previews for our 2018 NFL season kickoff. Visit the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan and click that subscribe button.